Ibrahim leads fight back after Sussex top order collapse. Sussex have had a pretty miserable time of it in the LV County Championship, just one win from eight attempts, but with some form rediscovered in the Vitality Blast, could they wrap up the group stage on a high, starting with the visit of Glamorgan? They'd have to wait a while with the outfield sodden until well after lunch, but when Sussex did stride out there ready to build their total, they'd find themselves on the back foot pretty quickly. Thomason out in just a second over by way of a classy Cook catch. The rain returned, but only briefly, and it couldn't prevent Sussex from losing another wicket. A peach of a delivery from Hogan fired through Van Zyl to bowl him for five. Conditions were tough for batting. The rain continued to disrupt Sussex's flow, and it was no surprise to see Glamorgan pick up a third wicket. Ali Orr out LBW to Van der Hoekton for four. Ollie Carter would be the fourth to go his first-class debut producing just three runs before Whale found his pads to bring his innings to an end. The captain, Ben Brown, joined Travis Head in the middle, and for the first time, Sussex looked to have a handle on things. The conditions still testing, but the pair put 50 up on the board. Attack was the way forward for the duo. They went at six and over for a while, and quickly raced their way towards 100. That approach got them as far as 75 before Brown fiddled at a Douthwaite delivery to depart caught behind for 22. They'd managed five more before T was taken. The score at the interval, 80 for five. Travis Head had fired his way into the upper 30s before the break and picked up where he'd left off. The bulk of the runs coming from his bat as Ibrahim at the other end soaked up some pressure. The Aussie was closing in on 50 runs and the score just one lusty blow from triple figures when he looked to leave a van der Hoekten delivery and off he walked before the umpire had even lifted the finger. Ibrahim and Beer guided Sussex through to triple figures, albeit slowly. Boundaries dried up with Head's departure as the middle order pair looked to consolidate their position before the close. In the gloom, and with 100 on the board, Ibrahim began to open up a little more. The score now closer to 150 than 100, and Sussex started to put on a little bit of a fight back late in the day. The renewed vigour took the seventh wicket pair to a 50 partnership. Some real resistance on show now, and they ticked the score over to 150 not long after. It was a productive pairing, and one to give Sussex something to build on. The pair reached the close at 161 for 7, and Ibrahim was now into the 40s. He'll head to bed with dreams of a second first-class 50 in as many matches, happy with his day's work, but with plenty left to do. Glamorgan will hope their wicket-taking touch returns to them in the morning, before the host's confidence can grow any more.